Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be showing you the HTT Plether in multiplayer in Asphalt 8. I have not said those words for a long time. But Asphalt 89 has kindly given me some races in his car, which is at 555500000, and so I thought I would make a video about it and sort of give my thoughts on Asphalt 8, its current state, and sort of what my future with the game is. Now, a lot of the things in this video I have said briefly in other videos, but I kind of wanted to make one to sort of bring it all together, because the last time I made a video about this, was back in June of 2019, so almost one and a half years ago at this point, in my Mustang video where I talked about kind of my Asphalt 8 story at that point. I'm not going to go through like a story again or whatever, just some things that have happened since then. But before I go into that, I do want to say we are currently 10, yes, 10 subscribers away from hitting our 36,000 subscriber milestone where I will upload my new Asphalt 9 music video. You may be wondering, what does this have to do with Asphalt 8? Well, aside from the fact that we're just super close and this is the video I'm uploading close to the time where we're going to be hitting the milestone, it might bring back some memories from Asphalt 8. It's not an Asphalt 8 music video, but it's related in a way, and you might know what I'm talking about if you have listened to one of my recent live streams, and some people have already guessed what it is, but you'll have to see, hopefully in a day or so, and I'll premiere it just like I have done with the past ones, so we can get all of the live reactions to this song. I think you guys are going to like it, and probably get some nostalgia from it as well. So now, back to Asphalt 8. One of the big things I want to mention first First is where have the Asphalt 8 update videos gone? Because I had said previously that I would continue to do those for the foreseeable future, and I stopped doing them for a few reasons. One of which is because, well, in the past updates, in the Asphalt Influencer Chat, which is a game loft program that I'm in, they would always post some stats about the new cars and their pictures and everything like that before the update. There has been nothing like that in the past few updates that I've seen and I haven't really known where else to even get the information, and they're adding very few cars each update, and it just seems to be kind of scattered at this point, and it's really hard for me to pull everything together, if you know what I mean. Other than that, I found that I had just lost so much interest in Asphalt 8 that I wasn't even enjoying making those update videos anymore, so I decided, okay, I'm not going to force myself to make videos that I really just don't want to make. See, that's one thing you should never really do as a YouTuber. You have to find a balance. Like, you want to make what your people want to see, you know, so that they will continue to watch you, of course, but you also want to make things that you enjoy as well, otherwise it will just become like a chore to you, and you don't want that to happen on YouTube. YouTube should be something fun, even if you do make money at it, it should still be something that you enjoy, at least that's what I believe about it. And so that's what I've tried to do over the time, I've tried to get a good balance of just me enjoying making the content and finding videos that you guys like as well, so just things that we both can enjoy, we all can enjoy, and I just found that with the Asphalt 8 update videos, I wasn't enjoying them all that much, they weren't getting as many views, and so I just figured, okay, there's not really much point in me making them anymore. Also, why haven't I tried out Terra 9? Well, I've run into an issue with Asphalt 8 where I am unable to play multiplayer and events and anything online after the last update. In my previous videos, I talked a little bit about this, but I think I have figured out the issue. So in Asphalt 8, you can log in with either Facebook or your Xbox account, your Microsoft account, if you don't have an Xbox. It's the same thing. So I tried logging in with my Xbox account, and nothing happened. It just said that I couldn't log in and I have no idea why, because it works perfectly for Asphalt 9, but yeah, I can't do that. I tried many, many times, even updated my Xbox app to the new one, stuff like that, still nothing. So I tried Facebook, and you guys may know a little while back, if you had talked with me on Facebook before, that my account sort of got deactivated to an extent. Well, the reason for that, and this is the first time I'm sharing this publicly in a video, is because Facebook really wants you to use your real name and your account, and they even have, like, reporting for people who don't. Anyway, my name was RPM Furum Films PT or something like that, which obviously isn't my real name, because I don't want to share my real name in the game. The problem is that Asphalt 8, it doesn't have a name change feature within the game like Asphalt 9 does. So if you log in with your Facebook account, the name on your Facebook account is going to be the name that shows up in game. And I mean, you guys know I like my anonymity. I haven't even shared my first name yet. So no way I would share my whole name. And Facebook was asking me to provide like identification and stuff like that to prove that like the name that I chose was really me. And I'm just, I'm not going to do that. So 
I really think that it's really the end of the line with Asphalt 8 for me. If they were to do that with Asphalt 9, it would be okay because I can still change my name inside Asphalt 9. But yeah, that's really why I really don't think I'm going to be making any videos of me playing Asphalt 8 anymore. Now, there is still a chance that I might make videos featuring other people, but just because I found that in the past my Asphalt 8 videos, again, you guys don't seem to watch them as much as my Asphalt 9 videos, there's not really as much point to doing them, I might seem. And also recently I've noticed that people have been asking about Asphalt 8 less. It just seems to have sort of fallen out of the public Asphalt eye, if you know what I mean. Like for example, if you search up a car and Asphalt on YouTube, if it's in both games, it's more likely to appear in Asphalt 9 or Asphalt 9 videos instead. And also, most of the old Asphalt 8 YouTubers have switched to doing primarily Asphalt 9. Now there's some, like Isaac Sierra, who are still still doing some Asphalt 8 videos, and of course Asphalt 89 is still doing some of them, but there's a lot fewer than there used to be. Also, I looked on Google Trends, and in the past 12 months, Asphalt 9 has seen twice as many searches as Asphalt 8, when in the first year after Asphalt 9's release, it was pretty even, so Asphalt 8 has fallen a good bit there too. I would say that the game still has a fairly big player base, I mean, it's not dead in that regard, like people are still playing it, just not making as much content about it, at least as far as what I have seen. And I don't really see that changing all that much, we've seen Asphalt 8 go down a certain path, and we have no reason to think that it won't continue to go down that path and so most of the people that decided to quit it have already quit it and moved on to Asphalt 9 or just quit the Asphalt series entirely. Well, I would say most of them probably did move on to Asphalt 9, and then some of the other ones that are still here will probably continue to stay here for the foreseeable future as well. Because it really feels like after all the changes that have been made to the game in the past year and two years even, that it's gotten almost an entirely new player base, at least from what I've seen. And as you guys know, most of the changes, in my opinion, have not been good. Like, for example, the future fusion coins, which honestly aren't a terrible idea in and of themselves, were just implemented very poorly, I believe. They're much too expensive, and although Gameloft did provide more ways to get them, I mean, you saw the prices of just the level 1 pro kits for this car, and that just goes up and up, and even if you're able to get enough to be able to pro out one car, that's just one car, and there's so many more coming all the time, it's just you really can't keep up with that. And I mean, there have been a few good changes in here as well, like for example, removing all the fake speed. That's been something that we've been asking for for a long time. And so really when it comes down to it, I've accepted the fact that Asphalt 8 is as it is now. If you like it, keep playing it. If you don't like it, you can stop playing it. Of course, it's entirely up to you, and I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments about the game, the state of it, what you've done with it, like whether you've quit it or you've continued with it, because while I'm not satisfied with what the game has become, I want to part on good terms. You know, this was the game that made my channel what it is. Like, my channel would have not taken off without this game. This did it here. So I'm very thankful for that, and this game was a lot of fun for the first few years that I played it, and I hope that some people can still find some enjoyment in it. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you to Asphalt89 for sending me these races. Please like the video if you've enjoyed, and consider subscribing to see that music video as soon as it comes out, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!